Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to make this flower accessory for your Among Us character. It's actually really simple to make. I didn't add it onto my character because I do have the leaf on top of all of the ones I've made, but I'll show you how it would look if you did glue this on. Okay, so as I mentioned, I'm not gluing this onto my character because I do have the leaf on top of this guy, but I do want to show you what it will look like on top of yours if you do plan to make this. So I have my flower here, and I'm just going to put it on the side. And then if you glue it, I wouldn't glue the whole thing down. I would probably just put it on the back part of the yellow and the leaf just to make sure it's secure and glue it down like that. So I'm trying to get the best angle I can, but I don't have that much room. But this is what it would basically look like. Again, I do recommend if you're going to glue this, well, of course you're going to glue it down if you're making this. But since I'm not gluing it, I would recommend just putting it on the yellow part of the back of this flower and then the green leaf so this pink part can stick up. Because I think that looks really cute, but of course do whatever you want. And um, yeah, there's my leaf up top, so that's why I can't glue it onto this guy. But I think the flower looks really cute. I feel like I probably should have done this one instead of this. Maybe I'll cut this on top of my other one and then add the flower but yeah before i ramble too much i hope you guys enjoy this video i think it's really simple i'll let you know what you'll need in the next couple of clips i'll be using a four millimeter crochet hook a yarn threading needle scissors and a hot glue gun for the flower i will be using this yellow yarn from big twist and this one is in the color varsity gold the pink yarn i'll be using is from big twist as well and this one is in the color watermelon for the leaf, I don't remember the exact name of this, but it is also from Big Twist. Okay, so let's begin with our yellow yarn, and we're going to have to do a magic circle. So let's take our yarn and wrap it around our fingers. I like to wrap it around three, so I can create this X at the front, and then here's my circle. I then like to take my crochet hook and insert it inside the circle, and I'm just going to grab this front yarn and pull it through. And then I twist it up. Now I have this loop on my hook, so I'm going to yarn over with this yarn right here. Well, I'm just going to take my hook and go under so I can grab it and pull it through. And then I'll just let go so you can see the circle. So here's my circle, and I'm just going to tighten it up a bit because I do like to work in a smaller space. But if you don't like to, you can just leave it how it is. I'm just going to pull this yarn, and it closes up the circle a bit. Okay, so with our yellow yarn, we're only working with it for one round, and we're going to just single crochet six times into the circle. And when you're working with a circle, you have to go around this circle and this yarn as well, because this is what will tighten up the circle. So let's take our hook and go inside the circle. How many times have I said circle by now? <laughs> okay, so then we're just going to take this yarn and pull it through. There's two loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through both loops. So that was a single crochet. And then I'm just going to do it five more times, but I'll show that slowly two more times. So I'm going to take my hook, go inside the circle, grab this yarn, and pull it through. There's two loops on the hook. I'm yarning over, pulling through both. And then I'll do that one more time. So I'm going to take my hook, go inside the circle, grabbing this yarn and pulling it through. There's two loops on the hook. I'm yarning over pulling through both. So now I'll finish this off until I get six single crochets in total. So I currently have five single crochets into the circle, but for my sixth one, I do like to take this yarn and just tighten it up so it can close a bit. And then I'll do my last single crochet. And this makes it six in total. Okay, so once we have our circle, I'm just going to pull this yarn a bit so I can attach my pink yarn. So with my pink yarn, I just like to take it through this loop right here. I just push it through and then I'll just pull back down on the yarn so it can tighten up and then I'm going to take my scissors okay, so here I have my scissors I'm just going to cut off the yellow yarn and I'm going to tie these two pieces together so I can secure them okay so now that we have our pink yarn attached I'm just going to take my crochet hook and insert it into the stitch where the color already is so the stitch right here and then I'm just going to take the yarn and pull it through. And then we're going to chain six. So I know we have all this yarn right here, but we're just going to deal with that later. So just push it out of your way. And to create a chain, we're just going to yarn over our hook and pull through. So that was one, two. Again, it's just yarning over, pulling through. That was three, four, five, oops. So this is five and six. 
Okay, so then we're going to half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So this right here is one that's right next to the hook. This is two and three. So a half double crochet is yarning over our hook. Let's go into the third chain, push through, grab this yarn. We have three loops on the hook. Now let's yarn over and pull through all three. So that was a half double crochet into the third chain. Now we're just going to do a double crochet three times. So this is one, two, three, and then you'll be done with one petal. So let's yarn over, go into our next chain. This is a double crochet that we're doing now. So let's take this yarn and pull it through. We have three loops on the hook. Let's yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. So I'll show that two more times just to finish this off. So we're doing a double crochet. So we're yarning over our hook going through the next chain, pulling the yarn through. We have three loops on the hook. Let's yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, and pull through the last two. Again, I'll show that one more time. We're going to yarn over our hook, go into our last chain, take this yarn and pull it through. We have three loops on the hook. Let's yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the last two. Okay, so before we end off this petal, I just wanted to mention something. So you know how I did my magic circle and I didn't end off with a slip stitch? I felt like the flower on the Among Us character kind of has a gap between the leaves. It's not like a perfect gap between each one. So I felt like that's why I didn't want to do that because I did like how it separates. I mean, I think it looks kind of cute, but yeah, it's not even, but I feel like the flower doesn't look even to me, but that's what I just wanted to mention why I didn't a slip stitch. I should have said that earlier, but okay. So anyways, now to end off this petal, you're just going to single crochet into the next stitch which is this one right here so remember we didn't do the slip stitch that's why you have that space if you want to do the slip stitch to make it even you can do that but um let me now just go into this next stitch for a single crochet so just go in to the stitch pull your yarn through there's our two loops yarn over and pull through both now you just have to repeat that until you end up with five petals total, but I will demonstrate that one more time. So now that we're in our new stitch, let's chain six. So let's yarn over, pull through four. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now let's do a half double crochet into the third chain. So this is one, two, and three. So half double crochet is yarning over. Let's go into our third chain and we're going to pull some yarn through. We have three loops on our hook. Let's yarn over and pull through all three. And then you're just going to do a double crochet all the way down. So you should do three in total. So I just yarn over, go into my next chain, grab this yarn and pull it through. I have three loops. Let's yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the last two. And let me demonstrate that two more times. So I'm just going to yarn over, go through the next chain, pull this yarn through. We have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over, pull through the last two. Again, this is a double crochet. Let me do my last one. So I'm going to yarn over, go through my next chain, pull the yarn through. We have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two yarn over pull through the last two then to end this off we're just going to single crochet into the next stitch so here's my next stitch we're going through grabbing this yarn two loops yarn over pull through the last two so here are the two petals and i will demonstrate this one more time before i finish the last two petals off camera so now that we're in our new stitch let's first start it off with a chain of six so let's yarn over pull through for one two three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to do a half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So where the hook is, this is one, two, three. So I'm just going to yarn over, go into the third chain, pull some yarn through. We have three loops on the hook. Let's yarn over and pull through all three. Then we're going to do a double crochet three times. So into the last three chains. So let's yarn over, go through our next chain, pull this yarn through. We have three loops on the hook. We're yarning over, pulling through the first two, yarn over, pull through the last two. That is a double crochet. So let's do that two more times to finish off this petal. So I just yarn over, go through my next chain, pull this yarn through. 
three loops, yarning over, pulling through the first two, yarn over, pull through the last two. All right, so we're now on our last double crochet. Let's yarn over, go through the last chain, pull this yarn through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two. And then to end off this petal, we have to single crochet into the next um, stitch. So here's the next stitch going through, pulling this yarn, two loops, yarn over, pull through both. Here are the three petals, and I know you can see this gap right here, but we are going to fix that later on. So I will just go ahead and finish off my last two petals, and then I'll be back. I just finished my last two petals, and this is what it looks like. So you can see I did my last single crochet right there, and I have the loop here. So what I'm going to do now is just cut off some excess yarn because we're going to fix the gaps in the middle. So let me just take my scissors and cut some yarn off. Then I'm just going to pull this yarn straight out. And I'm going to take my threading needle and insert this yarn through. Now I'm just going to weave in the pink and yellow together. So first I'm just going to take my threading needle and go through this pink petal. And then I'm going to go straight out to this side right here. So let me just show you what it looks like. And I'm just going to pull this straight out. Now this one's already kind of close, so that one doesn't matter too much but um, I just want to go straight to this side first because this is where you can see the first gap. And now that I'm on this side of the petal, I actually want to go back in. So I'm just going to take my thread and needle and go from this corner to the back and just pull it straight out. Then from this side, I'm just going to push it back in, but I'm going to go from where you see this gap is from the back side. I'm going to go to the top. I'll push it this way so you can see. So like this. So it's right near the top of this gap on the pink and I'm going to pull it straight through and then I'm going to go back down into the yellow. So the top of this yellow right here and just push it through. And so you can see it closes that gap there. Okay, so now I'm just going to repeat that all the way through. So let me just go back in this way, push it through. And then I want to go back out. And then now that I'm on the back side of this petal, I'm just going to push it through the bottom part of the pink. So right here. And then I'm going to go back down into the yellow where that first stitch is. So you can see what it looks like. Now I'll push it through. And there we close it up. So I'll show that again. I'm going to go straight in from this side. Go back in on this petal. And now that I'm at this petal, I have to go from the bottom part of this pink. Push it through go back down into this yellow, yellow. Okay, now on to my last one. I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to push it in so I can get to the middle of this one. I'm going from the side. I mean, you don't have to go to the side. I just push it out that way because we're still going through the middle anyways. So I'm pushing it in right here, the bottom of where this pink starts for the gap. And then to close it, I have to go to the top of the yellow. So this one right here, and I'm just pushing it through. And now we have all of the gaps closed. For the back part, I do like to close this off by just taking the colors that match each other. So these two pink yarns right here, and I'm just going to tie a knot. This is going to, if you're putting this on your um, character, it's going to be glued down anyway. So the back doesn't really matter because it will be glued down. But I'm going to tie it twice. And then I'll tie the two yellow pieces together. So that was once, and I'll do it again. Now I'm just going to cut off this excess yarn.
this is what the flower looks like and now we can move on to our leaf this kind of looks like a starfish okay so for our leaf let's take our green yarn and with this yarn we're actually going to start off with a chain so what i like to do is we're going to start off with a slip knot so for mine i just like to take my yarn and it holds it in half like this and then i'll twist it and so you see you have this loop here i'm just going to take this yarn and pull it through and that's my slip knot so next i'm just going to take my crochet hook insert it inside the loop pull down so that is a slip knot so we can start with our chain we're going to chain 10 so if you remember a chain is just yarning over your hook and pulling through so that was one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten now we're going to do a double crochet into the third chain from the hook so here's my hook and this is the first chain the second and the third so let's do our double crochet we'll start off by yarning over our hook go into the third chain and pull some of this yarn through we have three loops on our hook let's yarn over and pull through the first two loops yarn over and pull through the last two loops so we just did a double crochet now we're going to do a triple crochet two times well into the next two chains so let's start off with our first triple crochet by yarning over once twice and then we're going to go into our next chain pull this yarn through we have four loops on our hook let's yarn over pull through the first two we have three loops left. Let's yarn over and pull through the next two. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through the last two. So that was a triple crochet. Now we're going to do that one more time into the next chain. So let's yarn over for one, two. We have three loops on our hook. Let's go into our next chain. Pull this yarn through. We have four loops on the hook. Let's yarn over pull through the first two and then we'll yarn over pull through the next two yarn over and pull through the last two again that was a triple crochet now we're going back to a double crochet into the next chain so let's yarn over our hook go through our next chain pull this yarn through we have three loops on the hook let's yarn over pull through the first two yarn over and pull through the last two into our next chain, we're going to do a half double crochet. So let's yarn over our hook, go into the next chain, grab some of this yarn and pull it through. We have three loops on the hook. Let's yarn over and pull through all three. That is a half double crochet. Now into our next chain, we're just going to do a single crochet. So let's just insert our hook, grab some of this yarn, pull it through. There's our two loops, yarn over and pull through both. To end this off, we're just going to do a slip stitch into the last two chains. So a slip stitch is just going through your stitch, grabbing this yarn and pulling it straight through both of the loops, well through the stitch and the loop. So I'll do that one more time for our last chain. We're just going straight in, grabbing this yarn and pulling it straight through. And that is our little leaf. Okay, so now let's just take our scissors and cut off this yarn. And then what I like to do is just take that yarn that you just cut off and you're going to insert it through the loop. So I'm just going to push it through this loop. And I'm just going to pull on it. And that's one way to close it. I also like to take these two pieces and just tie a knot just to make it a little bit more secure. And then I'll cut off these excess pieces. Okay, so you do need one more of these. If you need a reminder, just rewind the video so you can go back to the beginning of when I started this. But I did pre-make one of these already or another one of these. So now I'm just going to glue everything together. Okay, so in the picture that I saw, I feel like it is a little bit more out like this. But I kind of like the look of it like about right here. So I kind of want it to look like this. I know it doesn't look exactly like the picture, but um, I'm just going to match it up really quick to see where I want it. And I think I'm going to glue the leaves together first. 
and you can determine where you want it on the petal because I know it's a little bit different. So if you want it more on the opening, like say this one, you can just see how it looks. But I feel like it looks better right here. And I think the flower does open a little bit more on this side. So I'm just going to glue these two pieces together first. And I'm going to put it... Okay, so let me put it on this one here. I'm just putting it a little bit right now just to make sure I don't mess up. Okay, so I do like the look of this. I'm just going to add a little bit more glue now just to make sure it's secured. So be very careful because um, the opening of this is a little bit wider once you reach down here. So just make sure um, you're careful because the glue is really hot. So now I'm just going to glue the leaves on to the flower from the back side. So I'm just going to put some glue there. Again, be very careful because it might go through some of the stitches. After you finish gluing everything together, you have your accessory piece for your Among Us character. You can now just go ahead and hot glue this whole back piece to the top of your character. I'm not adding it to mine because I do have the leaf on top, but I think this turned out really cute. I hope you guys found this tutorial really easy to follow. And that's basically the end of this video, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.